As mentioned, our first training pair features a legend of Australian bodybuilding and a young bloke just making his way in the sport. Sammy Ionides is a six-time Australian and three-time Never Mr. Universe winner and someone who really knows a bit about what it takes to be in shape. Sammy was something of a phenom when he burst onto the scene in his early days and now, at an amazing 50 years of age, continues to train hard and give back a bit to the youngsters making their way in the sport. One of those youngsters is Sammy's training partner, Jake Nicolopoulos. At 18, he's already won the 2006 WFF Junior Mr Australia and the 2007 WFF Mr Universe titles, so seems destined for bigger things. Today they're training legs, so we're definitely in for something special. We do, do our leg workout. Um, I normally start with hammies, so we'll do our line curl, stiff legged deadlift and standing curl. And we'll probably try set it today. So we'll do our hammies first, then we'll do our calves, and then we'll start our quad workout. If I don't work out within uh, an hour and a half after I get up, I feel terrible. But as soon as I work out, it actually makes you feel better. It wakes your whole body up, you know? And I enjoy the challenge. Set number three. Come on, Sam. I don't feel my age. And you know, I don't care where I am, which country I'm in. First thing you gotta do when I get up in the morning, have my porridge and find a gym to work out. In the uh, gold gym encyclopedia, they've got shots of my calves. Me doing sandy calves, cedar calves. Because at one stage, my legs were rated amongst the best in the world. And I'm a lot older. <laughs> but uh, still hanging in there. I love training legs. If I hadn't, if I hadn't broken my back, I would have still been squatting heavy, you know. Every workout, I'd go over, I'd go close to five, six hundred pounds. You know, in the squats. So, uh, <laughs> I'm a lead man, I love him. <laughs> After hammies, I normally do stand, standing instead of carb machine. It varies again on the day, but what I'll do today, I'll do a standing calf, seated calf, super seven. Reps range between 25 and 15. I'm the super seven, then we finish off with one of my favorite exercises. I'll show you that one. There's no secret, just get to train them hard. Look, it takes an hour of your time. I had no calves to start with. By the time I was 17, I was winning every best league competition. In every competition, I won best leagues. I don't remember a show that I competed and didn't win it. I prefer training, doing weight training, to doing a lot of cardio training. If you train the way we do, you don't have to do as much cardio and you st still stay in reasonable shape. Push him out, come on. Hey. <sighs> come on, up. <sighs> I've always kept my reps in a reasonable pace. I like that the sl the slow movements. It pushes my stress on my joints. So I like to keep the movement constant, as it's, you know. If the muscle's burning, you can sort of pause for a second and then just continue pumping them out, you know? I have a look up at Sammy and if I could get half as good as he is, I'm, you know, I'm on the way, I'm trying. I couldn't, couldn't have a better training partner. I'm pumped. 100 reps. I don't, I don't like doing the same routine. We'll do dumbbell bench press and sort of bench press. You know, everything changes. Oh, come on. But it makes it interesting, otherwise you get bored. You're coming in, you know, oh, I've got to do bench press today, incline press, fly, yep. the same routine. Yep. You've got to keep your workout interesting. Okay. Oh. Ah. Oh, God. Oh. Sammy feels good <laughs> making us hurt. Because <laughs> I change it every workout. You're gonna feel feel the pain Always every tight. time you train. Yeah. Quads. Again, I always do something different. So today we'll do the the leg press. Let's go. We fall into 20 reps. Then we'll go and do some front squats. Four sets of. We'll see how we feel. And lunges. And then leg extensions.
we're going to do some front squats now. Yeah. We're going to do front quads. So everything's on on the front quad so get you that roundness. I was fortunate enough to train with the um, Roger Walker, who won the IFBB Mr. Universe years ago. I was only 16 years old, and Roger, 16, 17 years old, Roger had me doing front squats with four plates on each side. So, um, as a kid, I was pretty strong, you know, and um, fortunate to, to train with, with champion bodybuilders. I've been sweating for two weeks. <laughs> that was heavy. Doing some lunges, great for separation of your quads. Get them a deep lunge through your legs. It's great for the separation of your legs. Weight, because we haven't done it for a while. Very easy to get hamstring tears doing lunges. I think we'll just stick to eight reps. I remember years ago, John John Park, the late Ridge Park son. He says to me, Tom Plutz wants to, wants to see you. So I rolled up to his hotel. I've knocked on the door and he's greeted me with his, he's opened the door and he's got his pants down flexing his legs. He just wanted to see what my legs look like. <laughs> so he went inside and both started flexing the legs together. And uh, we've become pretty good friends since then, you know? We're both leg men, love doing our legs. The muscle fibers. I'll never stop. You know, when I was a kid, I won the Junior Universe in South Africa and lived with uh, Ridge Park and his family. He used to wake me up at 5 o'clock in the morning and do the same routine Arnold Schwarzenegger used to do. Get me in there early in the morning, so I'm the standing card machine and this and that, you know. Ever since then, I've, he, I idolised him and I've become like the Australian son. I've always been active in sports. I'll never stop. I think I'll just follow the legend. Legendary Ridge Park and just keep on going until it's, until you drop. I don't know any different.